how long does it take a new parent to adjust to your home? Hi, I'm Kaylin, whose eyes are getting blinded by the sun, and the author of The Parapolis Bond. Please be sure to get your copy on Amazon.com. And today I'm going to show you a couple of different parrots and talk to you about how long it takes for a parrot to adjust. And this is because I do have three new additions to my flock, and so I thought I would talk to you about that and talk to you about how they are adjusting. But it's also because I have a lot of people ask questions like, you know, when is my parrot going to step up? What do I do to get them to step up? Uh, when is my parrot going to let me hug it and kiss it to death? <laughs> and the answer really varies and really depends. So let's talk about what the differences are. While I've got them here, since he doesn't seem to want to leave me, this is Quantum and Quantum is a Cape parrot. Quantum, for example, we got when he was, I'm going to say, about a year old. He was a year old. I know that he had gone to the exotic bird store in February, and we got him in November. Had I known that I was going to get him, I would have gotten him a lot earlier. Because instead, that means that he spent nine months sitting at the exotic bird store. This is Bonnie, my golden conure. If you're not familiar with Bonnie and my channel, I think golden conures are one of the most incredible species of parrots. If you are familiar, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Any excuse to bring Bonnie into a video, I will take. Bonnie is incredible. Now, she speaks to the fact that the species of parrot has something to do with how quickly they do or don't bond to you. I did adopt also an adult golden conure who was really sick. It was really just a rescue situation tried to really do everything we could, took him to the vet multiple times, spent uh, some serious cha-ching at the vet, and unfortunately he was so old um, or so damaged because his liver and his kidneys were bad that he did pass away on me, but he bonded to me as well. And that's because this species is communal and they're just friendly with everyone. Bonnie is not a one-person parrot, she makes a lot of friends. So this is a parrot that's going to more easily bond. And so when you bring a golden conure home, unless they're severely wounded because they've had a traumatic experience, chances are this is actually another exceptional situation, a specific species where I can really be close because I'm not worried. The golden conures I've had have never really bitten me. Sometimes they beak you, but basically I don't, think they've ever drawn blood. One time Bonnie was really freaked out when she was new and at that point there was some pressure in her bite but she was freaking out and she was just new. It does take every parrot some time of course to adjust to their new home. But as you could see finding her home and finding a loving connection hasn't been that hard for Bonnie. In her case she got to come and live with us when she was six, seven, eight, eight months old and Bonnie is now a little over a year old, eh, but about a year. And so at that young age, parrots are gonna have an easier time connecting. Next, let's look at my Pionis, who is the youngest of our new three species and is starting to get comfortable, but I don't think her species is quite as connected and lovey-dovey as, for example, uh, the Conyer family, which Bonnie's a part of. All right, hopefully you can hear me okay. My last part of the reel with my Pionis Duffy, it didn't take. So I'm going to wrap up real quick. Um, hopefully on the screen I've got some pictures of Kathy, of uh, Dakota, our new Hawkhead, and Diva, our new Major Mitchell. Basically, when you want to look at how long is it going to take my parrot to adjust to me in my new home, the factors are going to be their age, their history, which you may or may not know about, their species, and their own preferences. All of these things can affect them. Oh, sorry, and number five, the most important, time. The amount of time that you spend with them, because that sense of familiarity makes all the difference. 
I hope that helps you get a good sense because I do get people saying, when's my parent going to step up? When's my parent going to, you know, come out and want to be with me? And the answer is it really depends on a lot of those different things. And it depends on the parent themselves because individuals have their own preferences. My yellow nip Amazon that I showed you at the beginning came right to me and I've had others that are still shy. They will step up, they'll come to me, our orange winged Amazon, but the cuddles are really limited. He has a stopwatch and when that stopwatch says it's been five seconds, he's done, no more pets for him. Thank you for joining me in this blissful video. I will catch you in the next one. Please be sure to like, set your preferences so that YouTube lets you know the next time there's a video, usually tomorrow. And make sure to comment so that it helps my channel, but also so that we can connect. See you next time.